If you're a chiropractor in Europe, there's one key thing that's happening right now that you're probably dealing with. No matter where you are in the world, actually, you're dealing with a couple things. One, you want to help grow your practice simply because you want to make a bigger impact in your community. And number two is you want to make this profession stronger and better so that people recognize us as a primary healthcare provider for what, they, what we do. Well, I'm Dr. Lawrence Sam from Drive Your Practice and I'm excited that I'm coming to the UK, sponsored by the UCA, and they're bringing me over to really help talk to you about how to talk about chiropractic in the modern age. One of the key things is that my skill set has been able to do is translate complex ideas into simple ideas. And I want to be clear is that your practitioners or your patients, your clients, your prospects are dying and really wanting to hear from you and what you do as a chiropractor. What we need to do is figure out how to communicate that message properly to how they want to be received. And so a couple of people have been asking me, a couple of chiropractors have been actually emailing me and Facebooking me and saying, you know, what are you gonna talk about? Why should we come? So let's, I thought I'd just do a sh short video to tell you, explain to you why I'm coming to the UK and what am I gonna be speaking on over those five days. Now, I'm gonna be heading over to Belfast, Ireland, Newcastle, Plymouth, and also in the UCA conference, and also doing a one full day at the UCA um, 2XP intensive that I'll be doing on the Saturday at the Heathrow Air Airport. Now I'm excited about this simply because I'm sharing you with my best ideas, the new strategies, new strategies I'm actually coming up with at the moment that will help you, that and also helping other chiropractors from all around the world right now, connecting more with their clients and really more getting in touch and getting more commitment from their clients to their practices. But all in all, it actually helps elevate the profession because that's what I'm really passionate about. See, my mission is about helping chiropractors be better in their practice so that they can actually help this profession grow. And I'm sure that you, if you're watching this video, if you're part of UCA, you want to see your profession grow. And this is what we're going to talk about. One of the key things that we're going to discuss in these days as, we, as I travel through the UK is the concept of the three circles. And the three circles are sort of the areas that we need to look at. But let's be, before we get into the three circles, we want to identify a couple of key factors. Number one is that no matter where you are in the world, your clients right now, they really don't want to be forced into care. They don't want to be forced into care at all, right? No one wants to be forced. You don't want to be pushed. You don't want to be pushed into something and neither does your prospect. What I think we need to do is start to transition from force and push care or scare care into something more about attracting. And these are attracting clients. You want to attract people prospects and you want to attract clients and customers that you actually want to see. You want to attract the right ones, not just everyone, not or and just anyone, but the people that you actually want to see in your practice. Who do you want to be a hero to? That's the key question I will have to, have to ask you. And the second thing I think what's clear here is that we also got to look at that the marketplace right now, the prospects, your clients and the people that you serve are literally confused. Right? They're confused not only about you, but also with everything else in life. There's so much market, um, mar marketing and, and, and selling to them. They don't even know what's going on, what's right or what's wrong. They don't know what's healthy or what's sick. And so what they're doing is that they're confused and they're looking really for your guidance. They want to be led. They want to be led towards something that's going to be better for them because they're confused with all the stuff that's got on Google. They want to be led and guided towards something that will actually help them towards getting better in health and also getting better in terms of wellness in their lifestyle. And the last thing here is that we all know, right, as chiropractors, as health professionals, that they are literally sick. I mean, they are not only confused, but they are sick. They're not doing very well. The population in the world, in the Western society, they're not doing very well at all. And we know that we can play a big part in this. And how do we transition? And they don't want to be sick. They actually want to live, live. But they most likely, to be honest with you, they want to be led. Not only do they want to be guided, but they also then want to be led. They want you to become the leaders in the profession. They want to be not just in the profession, but leaders in their life to guide them to the words, towards what they want, which is basically greater health and greater outcomes, greater performance in their lifetime. See, the three areas that we're going to cover here is basically through these factors, is that every practice, every practice has to have these three fundamental pillars working in the practice working together, not just one focus on one area and leaving the other two, but you have to focus on all three areas. And these three areas are basically attraction, is learning how to attract the prospect into paying attention to you. Why do you need to, pay, why do you need to 
target is because you need to focus on the people that you actually want to be a hero to. So you want to attract the right people. The second thing is that you want to take someone who is taking who's confused and be able to guide them. And how you convert people, right? I know convert seems like a bad word, but you're really converting them, you're guiding them. Really what you're doing is you're educating them. Is educating them through a process of actually understanding what you do. And they have a choice at the end whether they want it or not. It's not about forcing, it's about attracting, it's about educating, about taking someone and guiding them through that process. And the lastly, it's really about delivery. Because if you can deliver on the promise that you set out for them, if you deliver on what you said here, and create an outcome that they actually want, then you all of a sudden be able to lead them from sickness to healthcare, right? To basically what you wanna do is become the trusted advisor. See, an advisor is someone that gives them advice, someone who they trust and also gives them the truth, the good and the bad. The key though is to be able to deliver on that. And when you are able to attract the right people, convert the right people in a way that actually is with integrity, with ethics, and also by educating them, but also delivering on the promise, you have a very successful practice. And this is what I'm gonna be covering and showing you how to become an authority, right? The authority in your marketplace, in your community. And there's ways of actually building authority in a very, very quick manner, even if you don't feel like you have the capabilities of becoming a leader. You see, you don't have to be a outspoken leader who stands on camera or who's able to, to, uh, to be able to, to do great speeches. I think leaders also, there's also silent leaders, but there's ways of actually building credibility and authority in your community, in, in your community and also within your marketplace, but you gotta do it in the right way. And one of the key things are what we're going to be covering is on the day events in Belfast and Newcastle and Plymouth, what we're going to be talking about is what are some of the key strategies and how to do that. And then the 2XP in Heathrow for the one day, because we've got a whole day, I'm going to show you some of the strategies that you need to implement and we'll work together on how to build that properly. So I look forward to helping you creating that practice that you dream, but it's not just because of practice of your dreams, but is it basically allowing you to double your practice by attracting the right people, converting the right peoples into your practice, and more importantly, how to deliver a great experience for your clients. And if you can do that, the practice will soar, but more importantly, the profession will be greater because you're a greater chiropractor.